Mr. President, thank you for taking time to talk to us. You're in London this week for oh, the African I see. Leaders Summit. I see where this is going. You BBC people have sunk a new low, reinforcing your imperialist agenda by reminding me that I'm in London. <laughs> this interview is over. M Mr. President, I was, going to, I was going to ask you whether you find the summit in London interesting. Oh, the summit. Oh, <laughs> of course. I apologise. That reaction was for a different question. Please go on. In the last few weeks, three African presidents have been given the green light to run for third terms. What do you make of that? I say bravo. If Thatcher and Blair can do it, why on earth shouldn't we? Even Merkel has had three terms. Mr. President, onto your own presidential term. Isn't it a bit excessive for you to be seeking a 13th term. I don't see it as a 13th term. I see my entire life as one term. The people of Katwana are protesting against poverty. I mean, they remain poor while you, you on the other hand, are very, very rich. Why won't you share your wealth? Oh, but I do share, journalists. I share it on Instagram, on Facebook and on Twitter. Finally, Mr. President, are you positive about Africa and its future? <sighs> you know, I'm not. Look around you. Democratic elections in Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Tanzania. But no power grabs, no violence. It's utterly shameful. Thank you, Mr. President. You know, you are lovely. I should have you for lunch.